Well, the Four Corners fire is burning south of Cascade, and again, it's on the west side of the West Mountain. This was the smoke, a beautiful camera shot before the sun came up. You can see it here, the smoke tracking of these. There's the Orion Nebula right there, the Orion Constellation. You look at the smoke this morning, you see when it turns red like that, that's when you know it's smoke that we're not we're looking through, not cloud cover. And you see through the day, you see that smoke. Here's the second surge coming in as we go through the afternoon. So each afternoon, we're getting a big surge of smoke. Another fire now east of Atlanta. You can see that Ross fire right there. There's another shot of it right here. You see the smoke. Oh, this one's growing here as well. A couple hundred acres and uh, smoke jumpers out there. And hopefully they can knock these down because what, look what's happening here. The smoke here from the Four Corners fire is really producing towards this evening. You see it blasting, but now going to the east. Look at it expand over Boise tomorrow morning. We could have a very smoky sky tomorrow morning. Smoke from the uh, uh, Ross fire here. Again, Ross Fork fire going to the kind of lapping around our high pressure system towards the Treasure Valley as well. So, <laughs> 7 o'clock on Wednesday, we could have some pretty thick smoke across southwest Idaho. It's looking smoky through Thursday now, at least, as high pressure moves on through. The McCall area today, it has been hot. It's going to continue to be hot. Beautiful blue skies. The smoke staying well to the east of here. 95 degrees tomorrow. Watch out for the chance for some thunderstorms Friday, even in the morning, and then again at night. Notice the layers of smoke here, Redfish Lake. Uh, maybe even a layer of smoke right here, it appears to be coming on in. Look at the chance for thunderstorms on Friday after being hot and dry on Wednesday. Clouds and then thunderstorms Friday afternoon are likely. The heat advisory for today continues for tomorrow and an excessive heat warning right here in the extreme uh, western portions of the Treasure Valley on the Oregon side. Wider view shows heat coming up from the south, thunderstorms or moisture coming up from the south and west and eventually by Friday we start to bring some of this in. Even Thursday we get the cloud cover with a chance of some thunderstorms Thursday evening. Future cast kind of shows this for tomorrow. We're still seeing plenty of sunshine around. There's the cloud cover, the gray right there starting to pick up. Here's Thursday, cloud cover on the, in the afternoon it starts to increase and then it increases more so Thursday night. Dance of storms, same thing on Friday. 8 to 14 day outlook, cooler than normal down to the south and look at this, a heat dome right across the northwest. This is a relentless summer. We are likely to break the record of at least 20 degrees, 20 days of 100 degree heat, probably more than that. Normal conditions as far as moisture goes, so just a slight chance for some storms here or there. Forecast for the rest of the evening, we're hovering around 100 degrees. It's going to hang there for a little bit. Then overnight tonight, the smoke will likely build back into the Treasure Valley. Could wake up to a pretty smoky sky tomorrow morning. Comfortable temperatures to start the day, but again, that smoke around record heat is likely. Look at these numbers. 107 in the Western Valley, excessive heat warning. Boise 104 degrees, the record is 102. Unless the smoke knocks it down a couple of degrees, we are going to break a record uh, for the day tomorrow for the daily high. 103 in Garden Valley as well. The McCall area, mid 90s, Riggins and Council in Cambridge, all above 100. Stanley 38 in the morning, 90 in the afternoon. What a great time it is to be in the Stanley Basin. Quick check of that extended forecast coming up over the next few days. 105 tomorrow. Clouds will keep the temperature Temperature down into the 90s Thursday and Friday with a chance for some thunderstorms Thursday evening and again on Friday. And isolated storms are possible maybe on Saturday, 97. We might dip down to the mid-90s early next week before heating up again late next week.